welcome back to my YouTube channel. What? Actually, he's my quarantine partner. My God. Are you not? That can be misunderstood. Okay, I don't mean he's not the only quarantine partner I have. We're not coupling in the house. No, we're not coupling in the okay, house. We're in but we're in the, the same house. house. We're in yes. the same house, and I can go to his room. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> She's only not on my door twice. And it's for this interview. <laughs> she doesn't come. She, I don't even see her sometimes. I don't know where she is in the house. I'm always here. I'm here. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, you guys. Well, it's so good. Thank you for agreeing to do this vlog with me. My sister said to ask you, are you Femi Jacob? I mean, are you Olu Jacob's son? Yeah, I wish I was. Someone had bought me a drink before. I thought I was Olu Jacob's son. It was all in the middle of his name. Which is your father? You know, for your father's your father's fan. I'm like, he's my father. My father never lived in Lagos. <laughs> my father is my father. You go to school with him. He said, no, now you know to lose your and said, sorry, I can pay for this drink. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like I drank under forty percent. I can pay for it if you want me to. You know, I've eaten and, and you know it's not fair on you. So the person bought you food because he thought you were only joking. Yeah, we went for a, for a premiere and then you know we went to the restaurant, the wow. hotel. You know, just wanted to just watch the film, liked it, wow. commented the acting, and then took me to the restaurant. We sat down with this thing when everybody was gone, and they ordered food. Me, I ate. Yeah. I think so too. Okay, so there's this thing people are saying that. Um, is it true that it is not easy for an actor to find true love? It is not easy for anybody to find true love. This is the first I came into Nollywood. I was in banking. Okay. You were a banker? Yeah. Wow. And they used to say that banking ladies are loose. You know, that they're not. And, and the banking banker guys are players. You know, but there, there's always some stereotype about some people. Mm -hmm. You know, so people look down on. When I came into Nollywood as well, I began to hear about the stigma. Uh, Nollywood guys are like philanderers, you know, they always kiss me on screen. And Nollywood girls are always dating rich people, looking for rich girls. There's always nurses in go, doctors in go. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to true love, I think it's difficult for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for everybody. You know, not with them. Love requires that you are vulnerable. You let your guards down. You let someone else come in and take away your heart. And they can decide to defecate on it. And they can decide to beautify it. You, you, but that trust is a risk. Right. Which most people are not willing to take based on their experiences in life so i think what the factors that make for whether you need get a true love or not fine true love is how much how trusting you are how discerning you are how open you can be which is a risk and if you open this window now we're going to get some fresh air in but we're still going to get some cold cold air and we don't want the cold cold air you know so but it's a risk when you are desperate to find love, when you are lonely enough, you feel like you're ready, and and when your when your fear of being heartbroken um, is lower than your intense desire for loneliness, I think that you open the window of your life and just let people in. Mm. If you let people in, you discover how wonderful they are. It doesn't matter who they are, whether they're actors or lawyers or doctors or nurses or bankers. If you open up your heart, then you experience people in a deeper way. For instance, I mean, when my Instagram page, you make judgments about me. <laughs> but by force, we were supposed to be on the same trip. Mm -hmm. So come and do something in the UK. And then you found, you, you by being in my environment, by mm -hmm. allowing yourself mm -hmm. to see me mm -hmm. for the first time, you made a different type of judgment about yeah. me. So I think that the only hindrance to true love is vulnerability. That ability to be open, to really stop judging people is an able boy, is an actor, is a lawyer, she's a nurse, she's a day, she's a banker. Mm -hmm. To just really try and experience people, not by their labels, but by their 
personalities mm -hmm. we'll let them in and you know put a put 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 a reduce the distance between us so you can either enjoy and understand them it can go both ways you can realize okay i've overrated this person yeah or you can go oh i've underrated this person yeah. this person is actually a nice yeah. person yeah. has a heart cares yeah laughs very well like mm -hmm. juliana <laughs> you know, and so um i think the reason why i mean you've given a very good explanation everything is a risk but i think the reason why a lot of people feel like it is harder for actors or celebrities to find true love is because they feel like they have a lot of people around them and they might just they just might be wondering okay who is the right person for me you know how like you just have so many people but that's the problem and you just you know let me come and cook for you or let me visit you or let me send you food and <laughs> and you maybe know, because you me have... i don't used to like free things too much okay. because free things can put you in trouble what is let me come and cook for you let me come and visit you let me come and let me come and what is the need for you let's all be friends let's all get to know each other dinner <coughs> on me lunch <coughs> on me <coughs> vacation <coughs> on me <coughs> you know you have a lot of no actually you have fans going i actually have I'm people sending that. dms like that i'm and, not i'm not doubting yes that. and but what i'm saying is that is still not a hindrance to finding true love it's still not if you think about it properly just because people are around you does not mean that they are in you or they they're that close you know look I, I can tell you for free most of these people who have a lot of people around them actually have people they're close to who are closer to who are not even in their environment mm, that's true you know and it, it's amazing huh? they surprise you sometimes they go and marry someone that is not even there yeah and you're wondering oh my god where did that come from intimacy is not really necessarily about proximity mm. just because that's yeah. a word. Intimacy yeah. is not about proximity. Ah. Just because you are with somebody and you're around them and for it around doesn't mean I mean for instance you and I are around each other, we are all around each other, but I can bet my life on it. You are chatting with a guy right now who is not even in this whole <laughs> environment, who is probably not even in this industry. In the UK. Who is not even in the UK? Who is probably not even in Nigeria? Who is probably not even in? this our industry or whatever mm -hmm. just that yes and there are things that the person knows about you deep and personal things that they know about you yeah. that all of us that are living in this house with you don't know mm -hmm. so just yeah. because we're you know in the same environment does not mean that we're in the same environment okay. there are things that you open up to those people and that's like yes. when we take phone calls they walk away from everybody that's else. true because there are things they want to say to the person that is the thing they share yes. that they don't share with everybody else. So, yes. if you are a person who wants to date a celebrity, who wants, wants, wants to think about being around a celebrity, anything can happen. You are deceiving yourself. <laughs> you know, they, let me tell you, they, the heart knows what the heart wants. Mm. And just because you make yourself visible does not mean that, you know, romance can blossom. Sex may blossom. <laughs> you guys can, yeah, you guys can drink and, you know, party together. Partying may blossom, socializing may blossom, but real deep, meaningful relationships are not really based on your own definition of wife material. I don't think there's anything like wife material. <laughs> to start with, a bit. No, every woman is a wife material. Okay. Every woman is a wife material. Um, every man is a, is a husband material. What makes you a a a wife possibility or husband possibility. It's a decision to be. Right. How has it been like quarantine? Ah! My God. You know, even those ones who are people like me who like our own space, who like to be indoors all day, you know, it's been challenging. Very challenging. Um, very challenging. Very challenging. Um, but we've been, we, we can be grateful because I mean, we 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 have good hosts, you know. Yeah. They've been. I mean, I don't even feel like I'm away from my home because I have almost everything I need. Absolutely. Everything I need. So shout out to um, Mrs. Veronica. Shout out 
um, to um, obey shout out to all the people that are shout out to the Ogachukus who are hosting us now they're amazing yeah they're amazing so um we've had everything we need and um, but it's just difficult because you know other people are going through pain and the uh, consciousness of the world has shifted from oh this thing to hmm. how can we manage it if they just say lockdown over will my job still be the same yes so my career what's going to be like yeah will we still be shooting kissing scenes in film <laughs> will we still, now will we still be sitting close by each other like this again yeah so how would that affect our industry everything my life yeah i think yeah so that's what will make it and i begin to have ideas about what? strategizing yeah when this is over i'm going to do a lot of vlogs yeah. he sent me a picture of another friend who did a zoom wedding can you believe that wow i was like oh that's cool because i actually know a friend that cancelled the oh, wedding really? because of this whole thing and imagine? because the other person was like this our friend i'm talking about said we don't know when corona is going to end because so why should i just wait why? because they, so, their mind is still stuck in the past <laughs> then there must be plenty of people yes there. and party and so and i'm party. saying even if you get married now what stops you from doing another wedding after this whole thing because yes you're married in yeah. fact you probably just file now and do because you can even use zoom evidence now to court and then give you a certificate because they know what is going on the world is sensitive to pandemic now that's true and so maybe your certificate will even come out fast <laughs> that's true you know, maybe you can fight that's for your true. husband now quickly mm. because of that so when corona is over she can fly over you can fly over wherever yeah, it is yeah there's no point cancelling the wedding you've already said you're going to do it so yes what are you cancelling it for i think people just really like the old ceremony that comes to wedding well, you always still have that yes that's the thing because i even posted it on my status and a lot of people were saying nah let me have zoom wedding go for me i'm like why do people think so myopic because you can do this zoom wedding and you can still have the big wedding if you want to and god is just saving you money fam Bro. you don't have to waste money for reception or your Bro, wedding people, dress people, people can do it through google hangout you give people the links that they're invited <laughs> yes yeah, true that's true and people don't have to dress up yeah, that's just cool. Sit down and watching it on TV or YouTube. You can and you guys can have it. I really time. wish I could do my Zoom wedding. Like I wish I could have a Zoom wedding. Because I don't like it's no don't look at me like that. Because I, I don't know how people don't like the idea because I just think it's not a bad idea. Your wedding is not, not it's not about people coming and yeah. eating and all of that. That's not what makes it. But it can also wedding. be a generational thing. You know, you yeah, you're quite young. So and um, you're used to the internet much more than most people. Most That's other people true. are. People are like um, I'm techie. I enjoy digital experiences more than most people do. Mm -hmm. So if I go to church online, sometimes I get a lot more than um, when I go physically. Yeah, I get too distracted by people, and I don't really, you know, get a lot. But when I watch online, I can, you know, and I can also re-record it and go back to it again. You yeah. See? You know, so um, I think personal preferences. People feel people. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like your wedding um, um, online service because they don't really. They're older than me. They're older than us. They're not used That's to this true. digital thing. But we are digital natives, may, maybe. So we enjoy it. I'm saying we because I'm not. I'm. If, if, I'm I get lost when I'm with people that are even my age. Sometimes I, I don't. Cause they seem a bit too like cake for you know, but, uh, no no <laughs> how old are you <laughs> but, but some people some people just you know they love it they enjoy the digital experience yeah. and for them it's it's more fulfilling okay so in so fairness to in them in fairness to them it can be I mean, maybe even facebook would be better for them because facebook came much earlier and everybody's grandmother is on facebook <laughs> 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 Except my grandmother and my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much once again. Until next time, be well. Oh, wait. Don't forget to get a copy of Rise mm. by FJ Femi Jacobs. And by the way, he's not only Jacobs' son. So um, you guys stop disturbing his life. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Be well. Be Bye. Well. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.